People who've been in the rocketry business for decades yeah. who say about you that you don't know what you don't know. You know, there are American heroes who don't like this idea. Neil uh, Armstrong, yeah. Gene Cernan have both testified against commercial space flight in the way that you're developing it. Now is the time to overrule this administration's pledge to mediocrity. You know, those guys are heroes of mine, so it's really tough. You know, I, I wish they would come and visit and, and see the hardware that we're doing here. They inspired you to do this, didn't they? Yes. And to see them casting stones in your direction. It's difficult. I would say because they are fearful of how disruptive plug-in cars will be and how unattractive their old product line will appear. There was just very little time left in the year to resolve these, these things. I mean, there were like two or three business days left in the year. I never thought I was, it was possible for me to have a nervous breakdown, but if it was possible for me to have a nervous breakdown there, that was about as close as I was going to come. Electric vehicles are really not possible in ways that would be effective for most consumers still. This is just the religion of electric vehicles. And like Jonestown, um, that religion will come to an end. Tesla stock voted by Wall Street as the least likely to succeed. You don't want to own this stock. You don't want to lease it. Heck, you're even, you shouldn't even rent the darn thing. You put $90 billion, like 50 years worth of breaks, into, into solar and wind, to, to, to Solyndra and Fisker and Tesla and Enter One. I mean, I, I had a friend who said, you don't just pick the winners and losers, you pick the losers. It really feels good to have, um, have repaid the, the, the US, U.S. taxpayer. That's that's really what's important here, and and we're not we didn't just repay the principal. We actually repaid it with interest um, and, and a bonus payment. So ultimately, the uh, the U.S. taxpayer actually made a profit over t of over twenty million dollars on this loan. send their own planes up. Uh, you know, it's rockets, yeah. Um, <clears throat> I'm skeptical. An incredibly inspiring thing for a private corporation to be able to do what SpaceX has done. But Neil deGrasse Tyson does not think that when it comes to the major uh, goals of our space program, things like being able to get humans to Mars, SpaceX simply will not be able to accomplish them.
them. Why not? I don't ever give up. I mean, I'd have to be dead or completely incapacitated.